Coffee is the most traded commodity on earth after oil and is the most popular drink in the world with over 2 billion cups of coffee drank every single day. So with it being so popular, let's have a look at the impacts that coffee has on the brain as well as the effects that it has on healing such as back pain, neck pain or even a broken leg or surgeries. Make sure you stick to the end because I'm going to go through some of the surprising health benefits that coffee has on the body. So let's begin. Cheers. It is recommended that we get no more than 400 milligrams of caffeine in one day and the average cup of coffee will have anywhere between 95 and 150 milligrams of caffeine depending of course how strong you like your coffee. Now the way that coffee works within the brain or caffeine works within the brain it works by inhibiting a chemical called adenosine. Adenosine builds up throughout the day so for every hour that you're awake more adenosine will build up within your brain that essentially will make you feel more tired, more sleepy, so you're ready to go to bed. So as it builds up towards the end of the day, it's gonna to get to its maximum load, making you feel really, really tired and then enabling you to go to sleep. The way that caffeine works is that it will compete for the receptors that adenosine will try and get into in the brain which basically means that there's not gonna be enough receptors for adenosine to be able to attach to in the brain, meaning that there's gonna be less adenosine in the brain. So the more caffeine you have, the less adenosine you have, which basically means you're gonna feel more awake and less tired throughout the day. Now, one of the problems with drinking a lot of coffee regularly is that this adenosine system is very good at compensating and adapting to its environment. So if it's very used to getting a lot of caffeine, it notices that it's not getting enough adenosine, which basically means it's gonna create more receptors within the brain so that more adenosine then can get into the brain and make you feel more sleepy. This is a problem because essentially what you're doing when you're drinking coffee, when you're very used to it, is that you're just trying to get back to your normal level that you were at before you ever even drank coffee. If you ever came off coffee, you'll probably find that you're more tired than you ever was before you even drank coffee. And that's because the system is now adapted and now you have more receptors which basically means more adenosine can get into your brain and make you feel even more sleepy than you ever did so this is why we should be careful about how much coffee we drink and how regularly we drink that that portion of coffee Caffeine also works within the brain by increasing a chemical called dopamine, which is the feel-good hormone, which essentially is gonna make you feel more happy. And it also increases a chemical called cortisol, which is a stress hormone. And this is where the healing process comes in because caffeine is essentially going to increase your sympathetic drive and put you into a stressful state where your heart rate accelerates, your breathing rate accelerates, your blood pressure goes up and puts you in a state where you're ready to fight or flight, to run away from a tiger or to attack a bear, um, which is fine in short term, but in the long term, it's not a good thing. If you wanna find out more about how this system works and how this affects healing, then check out my video here that I did recently on that. But coffee essentially is going to do a similar thing because it's gonna activate this system and this system is not very good at the healing process. It's when you're in the sympathetic state, if you're running away from a tiger, there's lots of systems within your body that you don't need and healing is one of them. Digestion and reproduction would also be other examples of systems that you don't need if you are running away from danger. The other way that caffeine affects healing is through your sleep. One study has shown that drinking caffeine or coffee six hours before you go to bed regularly can have an impact through your sleep by decreasing your sleep time by one hour on average every single night. If you're doing this regularly over the long term, this can have an effect therefore on healing. Sleep is very essential, very important for giving your body the best ability it can to be able to heal. And if you're decreasing that, if you're not getting the proper amount of sleep, then you're not gonna give your body the best chance of healing. If you wanna find out more about sleep and to get more sleep, then check out my video here as I go through that in detail, give my eight best tips if you do suffer with sleep. So this will be very essential for so many different avenues within your health. 
So lastly then, I'm gonna go through some of the amazing benefits that coffee actually has on the body. Although coffee can sometimes be looked down upon as something that is maybe not so good for us, it's usually mainly because we have too much of it, but in moderation, it can have some really good effects on the body. Coffee contains a large amount of vitamin B2, three and five which is very vital for the nervous system it contains manganese which is very vital for connective tissue and bones just for one example and it has a lot of potassium in it potassium very good for muscle and nervous system function it also has a high amount of antioxidants and antioxidants are very good for fighting cancer as well as other diseases and many studies have also shown that drinking coffee regularly in moderation can actually decrease your chances of getting many different diseases such as a 24 to 50 percent reduction in your risk of developing diabetes a 65 percent less risk of developing alzheimer's a 32 percent to 60 percent decreased risk of developing parkinson's a 20 percent less chance of developing depression a 40 percent less chance of developing certain cancers and a 20 percent less chance of developing stroke so in conclusion coffee can be a very good thing but it must be taken in moderation now the recommended dose is 400 milligrams of caffeine per day but i'll actually say to have less than that my personal recommendation would be to have one or two cups of coffee a day to get the real benefits as well as negating some of the risks of coffee particularly in terms of healing and sympathetic drive and stress once again thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate your support if you are new here then please do consider subscribing for new videos like this one every single week but otherwise i will see you next time